the overall design. So I'm curious, we've seen a lot of unique aspects of this shelter solution. What is the most innovative? As an engineer, I would say that the most innovative part of the solution is that it doesn't require heavy machinery or cranes to build. Only two people and a truck to move it there. That's the principal concept of the Ablenook, and we want to stay true to that. You can't make it wrong essentially you can't build it the wrong way uh, that makes it that makes the able to uh, have the ability to reach areas that were not uh, possible prior because if you needed if you were on a steep hill and like in north carolina or something and you couldn't reach it with your mac truck to dump a bunch of terrain or concrete suddenly you can't build that area and the 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 economic outlook of that area is limited, but because of Abelnook's ability to be built on stilts and the ability to be uh, carried pretty much by a Ford F-150 on a trailer and the ability to unload it with only two people will allow the Abelnook to be built pretty much anywhere as long as the build inputs permit it. Uh, the other thing I think is pretty innovative is that the Abelnook can be downsized or upscaled depending on your life needs. So it's a house that can grow and shape your life with you as your life grows. You increase your family, add a couple more modules to have a room for your child. Your child leaves for college, remove those modules, or maybe send those modules with him to college. That way he already has a house. Um, you know, there's the limitations of the able- There's no more empty nesters the because you just no get rid of the empty part of the nest. <laughs> 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 you just send it with them. Yes. The, the limitations of the able nook are to the imaginations of its users.